What's up guys, Lon here from Android Authority and we're here at the TCL event at CES 2017 taking a look at the BlackBerry Mercury. This isn't the phone's official name but if you've been following the BlackBerry rumors this is what most people have been referring to it as. So yes this phone is real and it does exist. Something to keep in mind is that this is an alpha build so things are subject to change and we're not allowed to talk about the specs or the software but what I can talk about is my observations about the device during our short time with it. First things first, the design is made of metal with the exception of the back, which is more of a soft touch leathery like material. So not only does it feel really nice, but it's also very grippy and easy to hold on to. I did find it to be a little on the thick side, but overall the build quality felt extremely nice. It's got a completely flat top that houses the headphone jack while the bottom has a more traditionally rounded shape with a USB type C port that's flanked by two speaker grills. On the left side is the power button and the right side has a SIM card slot a volume rocker, and a custom key that can be mapped to different apps or possibly other functions. I can't tell you the size of the display, but it is a touchscreen, and right below that touchscreen is BlackBerry's tried and true physical keyboard. It's a capacitive keyboard, just like we've seen on some previous Blackberries, so you can use the keyboard to navigate through the OS instead of using the touchscreen. Again, I can't talk about the specs, so I can't really tell you about the camera, the processor, or the screen resolution, or what version of Android it's running, but you can clearly see it's a similar stock light experience from other recent Blackberries like the DTEK50 and you can more than likely expect all of Blackberry's usual services and security features to come pre-installed. It's a phone that's going to be geared more towards the enterprise market but it will be sold unlocked and also through carriers. It's shaping up to be a pretty interesting device and it's great to see Blackberry bringing back that QWERTY style portrait form factor and we'll definitely find out more about this device including its pricing and availability at Mobile World Congress so keep it tuned here to Android Authority for our coverage of that in the future and also keep it locked here to the Android Authority YouTube channel and AndroidAuthority.com for all of our CES 2017 coverage.